Good morning. Um, when we talk about practice or organization, and your time is limited, you have an hour of practice. Man, you got to get in offense and defense, and what if they trap you? Okay, and hopefully still some fundamentals. So it's very, very important that that you be that you be very organized. We have a term with our players: don't get ready to be ready. Same thing when we start today. Okay, we don't have time to get ready to be ready. We need to be ready because we have a lot to do, okay, as you have a lot to do. So it doesn't make a difference whether we coach in this facility or the elementary school gym that you're in, okay, we have to take into consideration some things when we organize practice. Number one, who, who are we coaching? What's the grade level, okay? And everything is a buildup from there. The game's the same. It doesn't make a difference whether it's you coaching your third grade gals or myself coaching uh, our college men, okay? The game is basically the same. It just happens that kids progress. They get bigger, they get stronger, they get quicker. So that's what changes the game, okay? And what's happening is that it's very, very important that we don't lose sight of how important fundamentals are in adding that to the practice. So what are we, what's easy for us to do? It'd be very easy, okay, to come out uh, every game and play two, three zone. That's easy. That doesn't take much practice time. Okay? If you want to win, if you want to win games, then you could trap out of that. Okay? Trap. Okay? That would that would put some W's in, in uh, alongside your name. And probably what you could also do is just take your two best players and put them over here and have them play two on two and put the other three over there in that corner. Okay? And that would help you win games. If that's the reason you're doing this. So number one, okay, you have to ask yourself, why am I coaching? Okay? What, 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 what's the joy there? And the joy is that we get to teach young people about the game of basketball, but more importantly about the game of life. When you go to practice, what is it that you want to teach them? Okay, is it to, to work hard? Okay, is it to be more responsible? Okay, because taking care of the ball, you have to be responsible. Is it to be a better, better family member, a better teammate? Well, in basketball, as a teammate, there are a lot of things that I can do. I can get my teammate a good pass. I can go set a good screen. I can go help and take a charge on my teammate. Okay? So all those things, and that's, that's very important in today's society of teaching loyalty, of teaching teamness, of teaching family. So as you go to practice every day, we, we are teachers. Okay? And all, all, all this thing is right here, this is our vehicle. This is our vehicle to teach about life. Okay? It's, not, it's not how many wins and losses. Okay? It's about having fun with young people. Okay? So number one, why are we coaching? We, we need to, number one, it, it has to be fun for us. Okay? And then it has to be, even more importantly, it needs to be fun for them. Because if it's fun for them, then they're going to come back with more enthusiasm. You're going to give them some homework to work on some things Okay, that they can do on their own. Okay, and then they progress. Each, each day they get better as a basketball player. Okay, each year they get better as a basketball player. I'm not so sure if you're going to just teach a trap in 2-3 zone okay, that they're going to get that better. Okay, your one loss record is probably going to get better. But how, how, how much better of a middle school player are they going to be? And then how much better of a high school player are they going to be? Okay, and, it, and it's very easy to go to practice and say, because uh, what would they all want to do? Uh, ball, please. Just grab one. Good, thanks. Okay, as soon as you have the court, okay, as soon as you have the court, what do they want to come out? They want to come out here and crank up, okay, they want to crank up threes. Okay, they see that on ESPN. If there was a ladder or a trampoline, they'd want to go dunk because they see that on ESPN. Okay, so right away, and then what do they want to Can we scrimmage? First question you're going to get asked. When are we going to scrimmage? We're going to scrimmage now? It's time to scrimmage? Okay? And so we want to play five on five. Okay? But they don't learn from the game playing on five on five. They learn from one on one to two on two to three on three to four on four. And then maybe the last five minutes, maybe they get to scrimmage. Okay? But, but that's easy. That's easy to teach two, three zone. It's easy for them to scrimmage. Okay? And that, that, that's, probably more, that's probably more fun for them. 
okay, but they don't progress as a player. Okay, so what we're going to try to do this morning okay, is in the time is kind of go through, and, and again, it doesn't make them, we're very fortunate to have this facility to practice in. Okay, what, what, is, what is your allotment? A half of a gym, a quarter of a gym, whatever it might be. And I've, I've had the good fortune, or maybe in some cases the, the bad fortune, to coach in a lot of different places. When I first started coaching uh, freshman basketball in East Los Angeles, we practiced outside on a blacktop. I, I've coached a, in a junior high cafeteria without a basket. Okay, when in the summer, so today, okay, I, I have seven young ladies. During summer camp, we might have 180 kids lined up across there in lines and to teach fundamentals. Okay. So, so what level are you, are you going to teach? Okay. How many players do you have? What's their skill level? How much time do you have? And then how are you going to break that down? Okay. Hopefully there needs to be a brief warm-up. And for age-level kids, you, you don't need a long warm-up. They don't need to stretch. What happens when the recess bell, recess bell sounds at, at school? Man, they're out the door and they're going. Okay, so we're going to have them, no, they don't need to stretch. Okay, I even think our guys stretch too long. Okay, we need to play. Okay, so within that warm-up, okay, make it something that's, that's quick and that they can use, and we'll get to that. Okay, then hopefully that you can real quickly do maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes of, of fundamentals. Okay, and then we need to get in some, maybe some individual offense, maybe some team offense, maybe a little bit of individual defense, maybe some team defense. As you move up, then you certainly need to put in press offense. Because if there's one thing that we start working on very early and we can continue to work on, it's press offense. Okay, because that will lose games if you can't beat the press. Okay, so last night we start our game and the first two possessions we get a layup. Okay, because the other team thought they were going to press us. We went, you know, on a different night, maybe tonight it might be a turnover. Okay, but our guys know that they need to be, and so what are the, what are the things that are important to you? Okay, so through this practice organization, we're going to try to put in some things, okay, um, that we would do whether we're coaching seventh grade girls, okay, third grade boys, whatever it might be. Okay, so uh, we, we get our court. We get our court. And uh, I think it's great if you had, we, we, could, we could have a pretty good practice, okay, if we had just this much, just inside the three point. I mean, that's all we have. We have one basket on the side of the gym. Today we have a half court, okay, because you, you usually have to share gyms and you have an hour and whatever it might be, okay. Uh, what I try to do is even share more and have, share four baskets and have more time, okay? But that, that, that however you want to work it, okay? So t this morning, okay, we have, um, since I've been already going, we have probably less than an hour, and we're going to try to get in, warm up, some kind of fundamentals, um, some, a little bit of transition work, uh, a little bit of uh, individual offense into team offense, some individual defense into, into, uh, a little bit of uh, team defense, and then hopefully finish it up with a little bit of ball handling. Okay? Uh, I think we can do it. All right? Are we ready? Okay. What we need to do, okay, quick warm up. You're going to take and you're going to jog, okay, to half court with the best possible running form that you have. When the person in front of you gets past this white line, the next person's going to go. Got it, Brooke? All right, go. Half speed, half speed, just a half court. Half speed, okay, half speed. Okay, now, just quick warm up. And one of the things that, how, how important, okay, transition basketball is. And the more effective they can be as a runner, okay, then the, the better they're going to be. So this is something that you could correct in the first couple minutes, okay. As you, now, I want everybody, when you run, be as efficient as possible, okay. Don't let your arms swing. Don't do this, okay. Just be efficient as a runner. Perfect running form. Okay, go. Yes, Avery, very nice. Yes, yes. Brittany, very good. Good, Robin, yes. Okay. All right, now, and, and again, this would be something of the first practice. First coming, and then, then we might not do that again. But if you have somebody that's, that can do it, okay, and has good form, then they should model it. Everybody should watch this now. What some of us are not doing is we're not having everything going in the same direction. If we do this, then that slows us down as a conversion, as a transition player. Okay, so we want to make sure we're nice and smooth. Avery, you're just going to go. Everybody watch her form now. Very nice. Okay, everything is smooth. Be smooth. Okay, go. Be smooth. Be smooth. Use your arms a little bit more. Arms a little bit more. Okay. 
use your arm just a little bit more. Okay, last time, here we go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Better, better, better. Okay, and then, okay, you can already pick up who, who you want to make corrections for, and you do that the first day, and now we just do this. Maybe as our warm-up now, we just go down and back, down and back, and, and you're talking to the people and have them continue to, to model. So there's a couple of people that we would like for them to use their arms a little bit more, and we'd like for you to use your arms like that. Okay? So now you've helped them as an athlete. Okay? You've helped them as a basketball player, but you've helped them more importantly as an athlete. Okay? So hopefully that, that, that just took a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit longer, the very first practice, Okay, but it's something that you can check now all the time. So you've made them a better athlete. Okay? All right, this time now you're just going to go sideways and do side jumping jacks, just like this. Okay? Here we go. Just to loosen up. Just to loosen up. Good. 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 Very nice. Good. Good. Very nice. Good. Okay, we're going back. Now, the more players that you have, Go ahead. The more players that you have, the more lines that you have. Good. Good. Okay, now you're going to run with high knees. When you run with high knees, you're going to try to drive okay, your knee okay, so that your thigh is parallel to the floor. And when you do that, well, you'd like your foot, okay, your foot to be parallel to the floor. High knees. Here we go. Good. 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 Drive those knees up. Try to keep your arms involved. Good. Very nice. Good. Same thing back. Very nice. Very nice. Good. Good. Very nice. Good. All right, now this time you're going to do the same thing, but you're going to skip. Okay, and if it, don't worry about your arms, but if you, can get your, if you can get your arms involved, then that's good. So now you're skipping, but you're doing the same thing. Okay, you're trying to get the, your thigh parallel to the floor. Here we go. Good, 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 very nice, very nice. Okay, and all these things are kind of ballistic exercises for them to become a better athlete. Okay, so, uh, so you've explained it the first time. If, if we were just coming to the gym, we could do it this quick. Okay, you're going to go running form. Here we go, go. Good. Try not to have your head so far forward. Okay? Try to be a little bit more upright. Okay? Okay? Now, again, you can see somebody, make that correction and continue. It's like that's our job. We're teachers. Okay? All right, so we did that. Okay, so now you're going to take side jumping jacks. Go. Good. High knees. Skip. Good. Drive that knee up. Good. OK, so in five minutes, they've improved. I think you see the difference in their knees. OK, and that's, that's going to benefit them. So that's just your warm-up. And you could add, each day, each practice, you could add something else. Okay? One of the things I think you should always do, okay, is you're going to just turn and backpedal. Turn and backpedal. Okay, one of the things I think you should always do with young people is explain to them before you backpedal that in basketball, if you fall, Okay, if you fall, okay, you would like to let your backside absorb the blow first, not your hand. Okay? So as you're back or backpedaling or you take a charge or sometime in basketball, when you face contact and you go to fall, okay, as you fall, let your backside absorb the fall first and then put your hands down. Okay? Try, to, try to always do that. Okay? Try to let your backside absorb the blow and then put your hands down. Okay? Now, again, that's very, very important, okay? Because what, sometimes when young kids fall, they put their hands down first, and then they end up injuring their wrist, okay? Straining their wrist, breaking their wrist, okay? And that happens, okay? 
So uh, this time, this time, you're going to jog here to the white line, and then you're going to turn and backpedal. Okay, you're going to turn and backpedal. Go. Good. Good. Okay, now again, again, you're teaching balance. Somebody starts getting back on their heels, then you can talk to them as a group to make that correction. Talk to that person as an individual. Uh, same thing back. Good. Good. Slow down. Slow down. And again, it's always important that they start doing stuff on all this stuff. Do it half speed so they feel body control. And then you can start to speed up. Because what, what, young kids want to go too fast. Okay? Teach body control. You know, in, uh, in other clinics, we've talked about body balance and so forth. Okay? And that's important, and we've done that before. Another thing that you might want to add to this is just defensive slide. Okay? And we just do push step, push step, push step. And so we go about that speed. Okay? So you guys are going to go half speed, get out in a defensive stance. Go. Stay down. Stay down. Okay? And again, we, other sessions we've done this. But you could add that. If that's something that you're really big into is defensive stance, you could add this as, as a warm-up drill every day. Okay, so we want to make sure that we don't bring our feet together. Keep, try to keep our feet wide. Don't cross your feet. Okay? Don't cross your feet. So, gals, everything is like this. It's push. You're taking push step. Push step. Don't let allow it. It's not a slide. Okay? It's not a slide. This is not defense. Okay? This is not defense. Okay? It's push step. Push step. Push step. Okay? Try to do that. Try to keep your feet wide. Don't bring your feet together. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. Yes. Stay down. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Don't bring your feet quite so close together. Good. Head up. Head up. Good. Good. Okay. And even before this, maybe the first practice. Okay. Maybe the first practice. Come out here real quick. Okay. Stay spread. Get down in a defensive stance. Just get down in a defensive stance. Good. Good. So their feet are shoulder width. Okay. Feet are too far apart. Shoulder width. Shoulder width. Good. So maybe you've spent some time. Okay, real quick, just looking at their stance so they do that the right way. All right, we're back in line. Everybody needs their ball. So that was our quick warm-up, okay? That was a, maybe that's three minutes, maybe that's five minutes, okay? Some quick warm-up. All right, then from there, right here, they're in this rack. They got them. Well, they got them. Here we go. So now you could take in your, in your fundamentals, okay, here's our fundamentals, five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you want to do. What is it that you want to accomplish? Okay? A lot of times there's a warm-up right from there. You could go dribble drill. Okay? And again, we've done, we're not going to go through all that because we've done that in other clinics. Okay? So right now, as a part of our warm-up, we, we might just say now, okay, you're, you're dribbling half speed with your strong hand. Okay? When the person in front of you gets past the white line, next person's going. Go. Half speed. Half speed. Head up. Head up. Head up. Good. Okay, off hand back. Off hand back. Good. Good. Head up, eyes up, see the floor. Okay, and you notice we say strong hand, off hand. Not strong hand, weak hand. Strong hand, off hand. Hopefully, a basketball player doesn't have a weak hand. Okay, but they need to work on it. They need to work on it. Okay, so from there, now from there, we could, you could add. Each day, you could add something. Or maybe you want to try to do the dribble series, okay, that we've done. So it would be power skip dribble, okay, it might be crossover dribble, so we're doing those up and back. It might be inside, outside, it might be pull back, okay, it might be reverse dribble, okay, and again, you could add to those. So as part of that quick warm up, okay, you've done that, all right? So now, uh, let's say um, we want to try to get in some passing, we only need a uh, ball there, ball there, other balls are back there. Okay, so we're going to try and come out here and dribble out right-handed. Okay, dribble out right-handed. Okay, we get out to about here. We're going to come to a two-foot stop and right foot reverse pivot and pass back to the next person in line. Okay, and then the next person is going to go. We're going half speed. Right-hand dribble, right foot reverse pivot. Here we go. Watch what happens here. Watch this. Observe as a coach. Here we go. And then just go back in line. Keep 
keep going. Good. Okay, hold up. You, you, yeah, that, that's good. Okay, now, again, and you're going to find this on your team, there are varying, okay, ability levels. Varying ability levels. Okay, so you have to have your practice geared to your best player and to your least skilled player. Okay, so if I just said that, okay, uh, we get in a game and I say block out. Or I just say this drill, okay, let's dribble out right hand, dribble, right foot, reverse pivot. That was not a good job of coaching, okay, because I didn't show them what I wanted. I didn't explain to them what I wanted. I took for granted, okay, and that's one of the things you can't do in basketball. You can't take for granted, okay, where their level is, okay. So right away, everybody pick up their ball, okay, and spread out along the baseline. Here we go, here we go, come on, gals. We, 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 okay, now, now if, if you find, okay, and that happens, okay, we have an hour. Walk over and get the ball and get back in line, okay? That won't work, okay? That won't work. We need to, we need to get stuff done, okay? So here's what we're going to do, okay? We're going to have the ball right here in front of us, okay, at chin level, okay? We're going to have the ball at chin level, okay? And now we're going to take and we're going to uh, right foot... Right foot, reverse pivot. Okay, so now here's our basketball stance. We're not, I see some people st straight legged. Okay, knees bent, shoulder width, ball at chin level. Okay, not with our elbows out here. You can't play basketball like this. The ball belongs right here, right now. Good. Okay, and now we're going to take and we're going to right foot and turn back over our left shoulder. We're going to take and stay down throughout the pivot because we had a few people that came out. What happens? They were up here. Okay, we need to stay down. Okay, and bring the ball to there. All right, here we go. Right foot, reverse pivot. Ready? Pivot. Good. Okay, you want to be back like this. Okay, you're right, you're right. There you go. Good. Okay? So here we are back. Pivot back. Pivot back. Okay? Pivot. Pivot back. Okay? Good. Now you're going to pivot off your right foot. And turn that way. Okay? You're right. All right, so now... Okay, we've done that a few times. And you might just have drills. And, and we're saying you're limited space. Okay, so we're back in our lines, one ball. Back in our lines, one ball. Hustle, get there. Get there. Okay, so now we're going to dribble out. We're going to dribble out. Two foot stop. Pivot. Okay, pass back to the next person in line. Okay, here we go. Go. Good. Yes. Very nice. Good. Good. Awesome. Yes. Good. Yes. Okay, that's all right. Turn backwards. Right. Yes. Brittany, you're going to hold on to it. Robin, hang on to it. All right, now again, it's what we demand. We show them, okay, we, we model it, okay, and then they do it, okay? All right, now, now we're going to go left foot dribble, okay? Left foot dribble, left foot reverse pivot. Grab your ball. Grab your ball. Grab your ball. Spread out. Spread out. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, here it is. Come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Yes, out of the way. Good. All right, so now we're going to go left foot, left foot reverse. Yes. Okay, pivot back. Okay, we're going to turn backwards. We're going to turn over our right shoulder. Okay, now right away we're in stance. Okay, now you, you notice what happens is they start standing. One of the things that you have to demand on offense and defense is that they're always in stance. Whether as a defender, as a rebounder, as a shooter, okay, they need to learn to play okay, with their knees bent in a flex position. So all the time we're looking at, okay, now we're, see how much more conscious they are right now? Okay, they're all about it. So, so now we're going to take in left foot, we're going to turn back over our right shoulder, okay? Left foot reverse. Ready? Pivot. Good. Pivot back. Pivot. Pivot back. Good. Now, you also look what they're doing, because they, they saw me do that. They, start, they didn't just take and pivot and leave the ball there. Okay, so I see they're taking away. They're moving the ball. I need to move the ball. Okay? Uh, back in our two lines. Here we go. 
Good. That's it. Okay, now you could, you could add to that. Okay, you could dribble out and come to a stride stop, one foot in front of the other. And we're going to do this. We're going to stride stop and power dribble, okay? And then when I say pass, you're going to turn back and pass the next person in line. Okay, so this is power dribble, stride stop, pound that dribble with your head up, pass back to the next person in line. Here we go. Ready? Go. Okay, good. I'll tell you when to pass. Pound the dribble. Pound the dribble. Head up. Head up. Look up the floor. We always want to look up the floor. This way. This way. Good. Pass. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Pound that dribble. Good. Good. Pass. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Pass. Pass. Okay, left hand dribble. Left hand dribble. Okay, you're gonna turn this way now. There you go with a ball in your left hand. Ball's over here. Oh, there you go. Head up, head up, head up, head up. Okay, and now you have some people that maybe, okay, they play a little bit too, okay? We wanna play with your back a little straighter. Okay? All right, pass. Good, hold up, hold up. Okay? So again, how important is this? So in your dribble series, quick. Dribbles hand lap, come back and do this. Okay? So all the time we're trying to, each day we're trying to add to what we're gonna do. Okay, so we get pivots. Another one, good one for young kids is to pivot and stop. We call this stride stop active pivot, because how many times do they get trapped? Uh, Robin, you and Brittany put the ball down. Uh, Robin, you come out. Okay? Put the ball down. And you guys are going to come and trap me, okay? So if I have the dribble and I get trapped, what kids? Oh, geez, that was a heck of a trap, okay? So what happens is I get trapped, and what happens? I step back away, come, come, trap! Ah, ah, I'm in trouble, okay? I'm in trouble, okay? Is that their fault? I don't think so. I think we need to teach that. I see the trap coming, okay? I see the trap coming. Can okay, I stop? Can I do? Here's here's the drill. Stride, stop, active, pivot. Okay, so we could have done the same thing. You can do it in your lines. If we were doing our lines, we could have gone so far. Stride, stop, active, pivot. Okay, go again. Stride, stop, active, pivot, looking up the floor so we don't get trapped. Coming maybe by the left hand. Stride, stop, active, pivot. Okay, also in our dribble series. Come again, gals. Okay, we probably would have put in, okay, pullback dribble. I think every kid, Okay, regardless of age, they need to get this into their game. Okay, it's pullback dribble. My, Michael Jordan was the best ever pullback dribble. Okay, here comes the trap. Pull back. Ah, oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, I don't let the trap come. And here's the move. Pull back, cross over and go. Okay, it's not an. I don't think that's an and one move. Okay, but it's a basketball move. Pull back. Cross over and go. For young, because what happens? They face the defense. They beat the trap. They relieve pressure. They create space. Okay. So again, in your dribble series, this would be something that you could do. Okay. Questions on our fundamental part of war, our warm up. So we've done warm up. We've done some fundamentals, and you could you could add to this. Whatever. What, what, what's it that your team needs to work on? Okay. One of the things that we could do with this, okay, is this time. And I think this is very important. We always say, okay, in our shooting stuff, that the ball needs to come to the shooting pocket. Okay, so this time, you're going to dribble out, right foot reverse pivot. When you get the, when the next person gets the ball, okay, when the next person gets the ball, you bring the ball to the shooting pocket. Okay, uh, you've been dribbling every, I think you've, you've done this before, I think. Um, you're going to dribble out. So this time, when you catch it, get like you're ready to shoot and put the ball in the shooting pocket. Go ahead and dribble out. Here we go. When you get it, you're going to put it in the shooting pocket. There you go. Pass. Okay. And right away, okay, we're just checking that out. So you've added something to this. Okay, you've added something to this. That right away, here's a, here's a play where she catch, catches the ball in a game situation, and right away she's ready to shoot. So you've na you now added two drills together. Let's do that again. No, no, no. Get there. You're going to dribble out. Okay, and you've got to dribble out harder. Harder. Good. There you go. Reverse pivot. Good. Give it to her. Good. 
All right. Okay? So now it's a game move. All right, now here we're going to add to that. And, and, and again, we're take, now we're taking what, what you maybe did in the third practice of what you're going to do at the end of the year, just again as a fundamental. Avery, when you catch it this time, when you catch it this time, I want you to take and fake right and cross over and take two or three dribbles to the left. Okay? Um, yeah, here we go. You got to dribble out hard, hard, hard. There you go. Reverse the tour. Ball to the shooting pocket. Okay, fake right. Yes. Okay? So now she's had an offensive move to whatever it does. So what we've taken is from just basic drills and we keep adding. Okay, we keep adding. So instead of them out here cranking up threes, okay, in a very short period of time, we put them into doing the same stuff in the game situations. We got in some dribble moves, we got in some pivoting, we got in some passing, but most importantly now, we got working on our shot. Okay, the ball coming to the shooting pocket and we've added a move. Fake right, go left. Okay? So now you've incorporated that stuff. But if, if, if we don't start that in the first day, then there, there can't be that progress. And you will be amazed. You will be amazed. If you start this stuff the first day of practice, okay, and then at the end of the season, how much they would have improved fundamentally. I guarantee you it's worth your time. And it beats scrimmaging for an hour. Okay, it beats scrimmaging. Question. How much time, how many lines, where they are. Now, if, if once, and here's the important thing. I think with, if you had eight to ten kids, probably two lines, okay, and so the first day you're going to teach it, it's going to take you a little long, okay? But you've done that other stuff, and just add something new, okay? Once they have the feel of it, you might go to three lines, okay? So it's, it's, it's quickly. We, every day we do three lines, and we do, this part of the season, we might do one rep. Okay? But maybe we get called for traveling during a game or we're weak on something, then we'll come back and do it, maybe do it three times. Okay? So you can gauge which of this stuff your team needs to work on, how much time you want to spend on it. Because okay? we're still in, probably still in our first 15, hopefully our first 15 minutes of practice. Okay? So we have warm up, we have some fundamental thing. You know, in other, other clinics we've done shooting, we've done that dribble series, okay? and you could add those to what you're doing. Questions with this, with the warm up, okay, with the warm up and um, the fundamental section. Okay, so now if we went, if we went to transition, okay, everybody wants to run fast break, let's go five on all. Okay, well, we probably would start off just two on all. Okay, let's move now, we're gonna move this line. You're gonna be on that side there, and you're, you're gonna be on this side here. One ball between the people on the left side are going to have a ball. Okay, and you guys are going to go just first. Okay, what you're going to do, okay, is you're going to just slide back and forth till you get to the free throw line. Okay, so you're just you're just sliding like this, sliding like this, sliding like this, right here to the free throw line. Okay, and we're coming back. Good passes. Okay, now, and, and we'll hopefully by the end of the day we'll talk a little bit about passing. Okay, you notice right there they have their arms out. Okay, ball's coming. Okay, no spin. Okay, every pass has to be a perfect pass. If I'm really a good passer and I have a great shooter on my team as they progress to high school and college, hopefully that ball has backspin and he can catch the ball with the ball crossing. If I'm a dribbler, okay, everybody, every pass needs to be the perfect pass. Okay, pretty close to crossing, but I got the ball where he could do something with it. So every pass that they make, don't let, once you go to passing, passing and catching, okay, it has to be precise. It has to be precise. Turnovers lose basketball games. Turnovers lose basketball games. So even in this drill, okay, and again, if you had a bunch of people, you might just, hey, we're going to go to half court when everybody gets there, then we'll come back. Okay, but right now we're going to go, just, we're just sliding. Okay, with our guys, we don't slide, we run. Okay, but we're trying to get them, so every pass is a good pass. Arms in, here we go, go. Good. Okay, go again. This time, lay, whoever has it, lay it up. Here we go. Good. Good. Nice. Okay, so they might just do that. And again, repetition. If you had quite a few people, we might do this. Okay, you two, you are in line there. You two are in line there. Okay, your line's over there. Avery, right there. Here. Okay, and you two are going 
here. You're in line here, here, and here. Okay, get, no, you're facing her. Okay, now you're going to half court and back, half court and back, sliding. Go. Slide, slide, slide. Coming right back. Okay, and, 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 and again, okay, this is much better than, okay, we're going to work on passing now. Okay, one of the things that, that I would see right now, anybody, anybody see what the number one correction is that we need to make on their passer? Exactly. None of the passes had backspin. Okay, so what's that say? It probably says that their elbows are out here too far. Okay. That probably their elbows need to be in a little bit more. And maybe, maybe we would, we would need to go just the two lines. Okay, you guys are just across from each other, just standing there. Okay, now as you pass, okay, instead of having, instead of having your elbows out like this, try to have your elbows right here. And as you pass, try to, try to end up like this. Okay, go. No, no, I'm sorry, you're going to just stand still. My fault. Okay, and again. Okay, if I, you have to make sure of what you're saying to them. If you say to a player, hey, get down. But if you say stance, okay, now they know what, what you're talking about. Okay? It's like I went to a Little League game um, this summer, and one coach was telling the hitter at the plate, hey, get your right elbow up. And the other, uh, other coach was saying, hey, get your, open up your front hip. And the dad said, get your head forward. Wow. Okay. We say... Ball, please. We say to our shooters, okay, faced up stance, not squared up stance. Squared up stance means their feet are like this. Faced up stance, one foot in front of the other, ball to the shooting pocket, proper grip, okay, power from their legs, up and into the basket, and hold your extension. Okay, and again, we've done a shooting clinic before, and you might check out that, that video uh, on CCTV. But again, it's terminology. Okay, so right now, you're going to stand there. Okay, step, step and pass. Hit him in the chest. Here we go. Good. A little more spin. Good. Okay, and I like this pass even better. I like push pass even better. Okay, I step and push. Okay, I think this is the best pass in basketball, up or down. Okay, so you're stepping and pushing with your right hand. Push with your right hand. There you go. Yes. Yes. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Okay, so again, now you, you could get in, okay? Um, overhead pass. I almost got you, huh? Okay, overhead pass. Hook pass. Okay, whatever. Each day it might be a different thing. But in this drill, okay, in this drill, we could have taken them and come back. All right, so we're coming back here. We're coming back here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so now we're going to go, we're going to slide. This side has the ball. We're going to slide to the free throw line, sliding. Good passes. When we get outside the free throw line, we're coming right back. Whoever has it has the layup. Here we go. Slide. Good. Right back. Good. Yes. Next two. Next two. Next two. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Good. Very nice. Right back. Good. Very nice. Good. And all the time we want to try to get the ball on the backboard. Next two. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Very nice. Good. 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 Okay. Um, as a coach, what do you perceive to be um, the most overlooked fundamental in basketball? No, fundamental. Okay. Yes, we need to make lay-ins. Overlook. Everybody shoots lay-ins. Okay. Using the backboard, yes. You're close. Catching. Catching. Everybody comes in and shoots, and everybody wants to dribble. Everybody wants to pan most, well... Hopefully, most everyone wants to pass, okay? You know, there are great passes. You have to find two things. You have to somebody that, that has the ability to pass, and then you have to have somebody that has the willingness to pass, okay? Those things work pretty good together. 
But the most overlooked fundamental, okay, is catching. Okay, is catching. Okay? Avery, post up in there. Ball, please. Ball, please. Ball, please. Okay, if I'm the point guard, uh, a little bit more on the block. That's a good post up, though. That's good. Okay? So as a point guard, if I throw it in there, fumble this, please. Okay? All right, good? And she usually doesn't fumble. That's why she looked at me like, what do you tell me to fumble? Okay? Ball, please. You got to fumble one more. Sorry, Avery. Okay? All right. Here we go. The next time I come down, okay, I just probably got two turnovers. Okay, next time I come down, <laughs> oh, no, I'm not going there. Okay, I'm coming back over here somewhere. Okay? But she's not going to fumble. Okay? If, if, if something that she can do, okay, she can go catch a ball. What happens? Two things happen. The kids wait for the ball to come to them, okay, and then they, they don't concentrate on catching the ball. Um, Avery, come here, please. Right there. Facing me, okay. What are you going to catch this ball with? Okay. What do you think? Even more importantly than your hand, and you see, she sees the ball. She didn't catch it. She sees the ball. Okay. She's not going to fumble a ball. But even more important than your hands catching the ball, and even your body catching the ball, what's the next most important thing to catch the ball? Very good. Your eyes. Okay, sometimes, and this happens in the NFL. In fact, there's a guy with a star on his helmet that's done this a few couple of times. He didn't focus, or they don't focus on the ball. They're worried about, what's the next play? Am I going to score? Okay, because if I ask you to close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay? <laughs> focus on the ball. Get in there and post. Okay, so this is a big skill. This is a big skill, because if I throw it to her, that's a catch. Okay, now this time when you get it, you got to score. Okay? The catch of that part was the most important part of the play, because then we can add to the post moves. Okay, so everybody has to be a good catcher. All right, now, what you could do, okay, bring your line out here. Okay, because hurry, 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 and we need one defender to stay. Bring your line right there at the white line. You're going to stay on defense. You're going to stay on defense. The line's out there behind them. The line's out behind them. Okay? Here we go. We're good. We're good. Okay, now, again, it takes a little while for us to get a little bit of team feel. Okay, I'm asking them to do things right now, okay, and, and they're not quite sure. They want to do the right thing. Okay? They want to do the right thing. Okay, and in most cases, there's no need... Okay, for us to scream and holler at our people periodically. Okay? But again, it depends upon what the age level is. Okay? It depends on what the age level is. Okay? We have a player uh, on our team that we're, he's going to end up being really a good player, but we're still fighting his high school coach. Because when he makes a mistake, takes a step back, okay? Because if he missed a shot, he might come out of the game, okay? If he made a turnover, <laughs> basketball is about confidence. Now, are we going to let people be casual with the ball? No, okay? We're going to make them tough with the ball? Yes. So that takes positive encouragement, okay? But then we don't let them just be casual with the ball. We need to make corrections, okay? Because some of the time, some of the time in our practices, if we're casual and we turn it over and we're not hustling and we're not working, okay, uh, I just go like this. Okay? When I go like this, you guys have to get over here on this line as quick as you can. This gal, too. That's okay. Okay? And spread out. Okay, in today's society, young people need to know that there are consequences okay, for mistakes. There are consequences for things that we might do. Consequences for things that we put in our body. Consequences for poor decisions. Okay, so our consequences are, if we're casual with the basketball, then they get over here, okay, and they usually have to go 
over and back. And over and back. And over and back. And sometimes, oh, you're ready to go? Okay? And, and some of the time I don't say a thing to them. There's other times when I might be saying, hey, we need to take care of the basketball. Okay, that's ridiculous to be that casual with the ball. Turnovers lose basketball. Our players will hear a thousand times this season, take care of the basketball. Take care of the basketball. So what are the things that are important to you? For us, on offense, it's taking care of the basketball. Okay? It's being in stance defensively. It's blocking out. Okay? It's all those little things. So there has to be some consequences. Since it's so early in the morning, you guys don't have consequences yet. Okay, we're back in line. Here we go. Good. Ho! Oh. Okay, has, has, has our team, okay, has our team changed a little bit in 30 minutes? Okay, now they were ready. Before, they were getting ready to be ready. Now they're ready, okay? So now you could take, as you only have a quarter of a gym, or even if you had, if there's four, four baskets in a gym, you could do this. And again, depending upon what your level is. If... If you have real young kids, you have third graders, move up here to the outside and no defense. Right now, no defense. Okay? We might go from right there. Okay? We don't. We have seventh grade girls. We're going to back up and add a defender. Okay, now you're going to pass the ball. Okay, and I've even jumped. We're going to run now. So we went from sliding, but we're going to run. We're going to run. Once you get inside the three-point line, okay, and you have the ball, go play until this defender stops you. Okay? All right, here we go. Go play, okay? Good, very nice, okay? And the person in the right line is gonna stay on defense, okay? And then we'd come back, but the same two come again. Same two, stay on defense, and you, same two are gonna come, here we come. Now, you might notice, okay, and this is why it's important that you start drills two on zero. Okay, right away we added the defender, we had a turnover, okay? That she wasn't sure. Okay, and the more they do it, the better they're going to get at it. Okay, so again, what's more important, playing five on five and trying to get a fast break land or doing this drill and getting the same thing? And you get more repetitions, everybody handles the ball, you're doing whatever. Okay, now, this is very important, okay, in this drill. Whoever ends up with the ball here, and you might even start to drill just dribbling, but I like it because you get passing in. Whoever has it here, Avery, if you have it, she's not going to stop you, go lay it up. Okay, here we go, ball's back here. Ball's back here. Here we go, go. Go play. Good. Okay? All right, now, so we've shown them. Everybody sees that, and that was perfect. Okay, that was perfect. All right, now, so now you're coming to defense. So the person in the, in the right line is coming to defense. You're going to pass back out. Okay? All right, here we go. Good. Good. Go play. Go play. Okay? All right, now. So again, what's our most okay, overlooked fundamental? Catch it. Okay? Catch it. We cannot afford... We cannot afford to fumble. Catch it, come make a play, all right? So here's, here's what we have right here, okay? I got you, here we go, here we go. Okay, come again, come again, come again. Catch it, okay, hold up, hold up, we're fine, come on. You have to focus on the ball, okay, catch it. See, I'm really I'm giving it to you hard. Catch it, catch it, catch it. Okay, here we go, play, catch it. Good, awesome. So what's wrong with stopping right there? If I was a classroom teacher, if I was a classroom teacher and a person made a mistake, okay, why not stop and do it again? Okay, delete that. Delete that. Okay, does it take extra time in practice? Yeah, but that that take 15 seconds. Okay, and you just have to emphasize. What is your emphasize? Okay, seize the ball. Okay, very good. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Play, play, play. Good. Yes. Good. All right. Go, go, go. Keep going to your score. Good. Yes. Yes. Finish it. Finish it. Good. Finish it. You're right. Good. Keep playing. Good. Finish it. Very nice. Very nice. Now, it wasn't that good. Yeah, the effort was good. Okay? But one of the things is keep playing. Keep playing. Go get it again. Keep playing. It's like even when we do a drill, whether we're doing something one on oh, five on oh, whatever we're doing, we don't finish with a miss. 
Keep playing until you get a make. Keep playing until you get a make. Okay, we have a new defender. Okay, we have a new defender. Here we go. 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 Good. Go play. Go play. Yes, good pass. Very nice. Go get it. Go get it. Good. Nice. Yes. Use that backboard. All right, play. Okay, good. All right, now that's fine. That's fine. Okay, and again, if you have, if you have different ability groups on, on your team, then you try in your drills to make sure those people are matched up. Okay, you don't want to take your best player and all the time having them go again. You've got to look in the line and get people lined up so that they're going to be challenged. Okay, don't just let it happen, happen. Okay, so I'd have to change the, the order of that. Okay. And again, you could go from, you could do this repetitive, and now you could go to um, three lines. Okay, uh, come here with a ball in the middle. Okay, ball's here. Okay, and we're gonna put a second defender down. So now you could go three on two. Okay, you could go three on two. And you could do them up and back. Again, it's what space you have. You wanna try to get as many times, uh, because we have 18 players on our team, we do a lot of, Three on two, back two on one, and as they finish, the next group's going. Okay? If you have just a cross court, you can just do it in waves. You have to see what, what, how you're going to maximize your numbers and your time and everything else. Okay? But again, it's important to build up two on zero, three on zero, okay? so they have success with it. And then go, you know, I'm rushing them through some stuff. This would probably be the second or third practice. I think we would have stayed two on oh. Okay, Questions with transition. Questions with transition. Okay, now, uh, team offense. Uh, ball's here. Everybody had the ball here. Everybody else is in line right there. You're in line. Everybody's in line back there. Hustle, gal. Okay, so what are you going to do on offense? Okay, are you going to run some kind of pass and cut? Are you going to run some kind of pick and roll? Are you going to pass and go screen away? One of the things that kids need to learn to do is pass and cut. Oldest play in basketball, give and go. Okay, so we're going to ask. We need another ball back here. Okay, Avery, you're going to have the... You're going to have the dribble right here. You're going to have the dribble. You're going to pass to me, okay? And then you're going to cut to the basket, okay? Uh, no, I want you to start with the dribble. Okay, start out there with the dribble. Okay, pass and cut. Good. Okay, finish it. Finish it. Next person needs the ball. Here we go. Use the backboard. When she finishes, all right, here we go. Cut. Here we go. Good. Good. Okay, now this is, go ahead. Nice. Good. Use the backboard. Good. Okay, awareness. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, now again, again, it's very important, okay, that we teach court awareness so I don't get hit in the side of the head. Okay, always have to see what's going on. Okay, that's, that's timing. Okay, basketball is timing. Basketball is awareness, okay? So one of the things that's important, okay, one of the things that's important, anytime I have the ball, okay, anytime I have the ball, okay, I don't want to just be a bouncer, okay, but the reason I want them to dribble is so they can start to get a feel of what they need to do, okay? So it's important when you have the dribble that you have to see what's going on. You can't just take it for granted and throw a pass, okay? So you need to, a lot of times, passing and catching is eye contact with each other, okay? All right, make sure I'm ready. You know something, you know something, okay? Come on back. Okay, now, what would be important is for me to give her homework. For me to give her homework. Okay? Because when she's dribbling, what is she doing? She's down here looking at the ball. Okay, so my homework for her would probably be to come down on one knee, okay, and just dribble the ball really hard. I want you to do that. Get on one knee, dribble the ball, ball hard, okay, and look up, look up, okay? Keep, no, just keep pounding the ball. Head up. You're fine. You're fine. Good. Keep dribbling the ball. Okay. All right. Good. That's much, much better. Okay. And what's important for kids to understand is you can never dribble the ball too hard. Okay. You can never dribble the ball too hard. It's like it's, it, okay. And I always, we, sometimes we say to them, play with your finger. Basketball is not played with your fingertips. Basketball is played with the fingers and the pad of your hand. Okay. So now you're going to pound the dribble, give me a pass, and cut to the basket. Good. Oh my. Yes. Good. 
Yes, very nice. Good. Now, next person, don't go until you're ready. Okay. Good. Nice. Very nice. Good. Good. Okay, try it. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. Now, we always want to try to get in there. And again, maybe you want to do, uh, if you have real little pain, maybe you just want to have them dribble the basket. But I really like, what, what have we incorporated? A pass, a catch, a dribble, a shot. Okay, rather than just say, okay, get in two lines and run lay-ins. Okay, we, we're incorporating a play for them. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to have you do this time. Okay, you're going to make a pass. You're going to make a pass, and you're going to act like you're going somewhere else. And now you're going to cut to the basket. Okay, so the, it would look like this. You're going to pass, and you're going to cut, and now you're going to come to the basket, and I'm going to give it to you. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go somewhere else. Good. Oh, my. Oh my. Okay, come again. Let's see that again. That's awesome. Go again. Okay, there's a basketball play. Okay, say, well, we need offense. Okay, she just ran a basketball play. A pass and a cut. And basketball is deception. She does a great job of this, of acting like she's going somewhere else and then coming. Okay, good, good, good. Catch and finish. All right, now, here we go. We'll do, everybody's going to do that one time. Good, good. Okay, now here's, here's what everybody needs to do. And we might even do this with the, okay, with the skill level of the group, depending upon who the player is. Okay, I might take, and I'm going to just give it to you, and you take one hard power dribble and put it up. Hard power dribble. Yes. Good. Very nice. Okay? So again, what, what, what is it? It might be that when, uh, you just might have to make it a little adjustment. Okay, here we go. Good. I like it. Yes. Very nice. Good. Finish it. Come on, go get it. Yes. Very good. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. What's our number one? What's your number one concern? Head up ice. There you go. Good. Keep that dribble. Good. Good. There you go. Very nice. Good. Yes. Very nice. Finish it. Good. Okay. Very nice. Good. Good cut. Very nice. Head up. Good. Cut away. Good. Nice. Okay, and now you could take, okay, maybe that's our team offense the first day. Maybe the second day is teaching uh, Avery, you get here with the ball. Okay, you're going you're gonna to come here. Avery, you're going to start right here in the middle with a dribble. And you're going to come up and just set a pick for her. Okay. She's going to go to the basket and give it. So you might want to put in pick and roll. Maybe the third day, you might take and pass and have somebody go screen. Or in your offense, it might be 1-3-1. One, one. You might have a high post player. Uh, Avery, you're there. You're going to be the high post player. Maybe in your offense, you're going to run 1-3-1. One, one. Okay? So we make this pass, and I use this screen okay, as a cut. So now we've done pass and cut with a screen. That's John Wooden. That's UCLA high post offense. Okay, so here we've done pass and give and go. We've added pick and roll. And already you're starting to bring, build a team offense. You don't have to play five on five to have a team offense. You can start team offense with one on zero. Okay, three on three, three on zero. Oh. Then add it, two on two, three on three, to build to that five on zero. Oh. Okay, um, hey, it's been our pleasure. Gals have done a great job. Okay. Uh, If you have any questions, I'll be around. Um, we are at home tonight. Uh, if you're interested in coming, we can probably uh, round up some tickets for you. Um, but have a great season. Uh, I think today, more than ever before, uh, I congratulate you on being a youth coach, and our kids uh, deserve your teaching. Thank you very much. Good job, gals.